Hi! What up? Yo. What's up, everybody? First and foremost, we need to apologize. We have been very busy. We have not posted videos in a couple days. But what we have been doing is going through all of our Europe stuff. We got a massive list from your guys' suggestions. We've been going through that. We've been making our own lists. And it's taking a long time. I do a lot of research. I read a lot of stuff. And so this has all been super helpful and we're so, so excited about what we have planned. We cannot wait to get to Europe. We have so many things planned for all the different cities we're gonna be in. And a lot of it is thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for sending all of those suggestions. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jell doesn't know what we're doing there. She'll just find out once we get there. It's true. I really don't know what's going on. I named things that I already knew I wanted to see and countries I already knew I wanted to see, but honestly, I'm not very good at research. I'm much more of like a winging it type person. Like, we'll figure it out when we get there. And he's much more of like a calculated planner and wants a full itinerary before we even leave the country. We're finding a happy medium here. Instead of just <laughs> having true. the plan, oh, let's go to Europe. <laughs> which is what she would do. We do know where we're going. We kind of know where we're staying and we kind of know what we want to do wanna see. in the cities. Yes, so, so thank you for helping us be balanced. We have been busy doing that, but today, as you can see, we are in the, we're in the master bathroom. We are bathroom. in El Baño. The master bathroom. So when we bought this house, it was a new house. This is the first house we've ever bought. And surprisingly, there's still a lot of problems even with new houses. Kind of frustrating, but we have a list of things we want to fix and we're slowly getting through them and fixing them, right? Right. I'm I'm fixing them, <clears throat> but tonight, right. Shell is gonna help me fix this one. Normally we would get to this stuff a lot sooner, but last August when I finished the basement, I was so burned out that any home task, home project did not sound fun to me. So we have not really done anything in the house since last August, just because of how burned out I got. Except for help me paint the fireplace. He did help me do that. Yeah, that's been the only one. That was it. So. That's wearing off. And so we're gonna get back to doing some projects here around the house. And today we are starting with the master tub, it has issues. Bad issues. Actually, nobody would probably even notice. No, it's bad. Okay. We'll show you right now. So there's a caulk seam all the way around the tub with the tile, and you can see it is cracked pretty much the entire perimeter of the tub. And what's bad about that is when a shell goes splish splash in the bath, <laughs> Water is gonna get between the tub and the wood framing around it that the tile's on and it's gonna mildew, it's gonna mold, it's gonna be gross. It is a bad problem. We're gonna, see? Yeah. Big he problem. wasn't lying. No. Big problem. You gotta yeah. seal those seams. Seal your seams. Hashtag seal your seams, everyone. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> But today I wanted to actually get Shell's help. I'm gonna show her how to do this so she can then show you guys how to do this. And it's really not that hard of a job. There are some tricks to know. I know a couple of them. I'm sure I don't know all of them. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are better at this than me. But pretty soon here, Shell is just gonna be just as good as I am. If she does as well as she did on the dirt bike the other day, then this tub is gonna look really good when we're done. I don't know. Okay, babe, pop in the tub for your bubble bath. Get in. Okay, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get the old caulk off, so Shell, pay attention. Okay. This is very sharp chisel here. You can use this or a razor blade. And you don't even have to worry about scratching the tile. The tile is so hard that you're not gonna really scratch it. But you do wanna make sure you don't scratch the tub, because this is softer and it will scratch. Let's see if it'll come up. Look at that gap. Pretty rough. So we're gonna go around the tub, we're gonna get up as much of it as we can, and then we will lay the new caulk lines down. Shell, you ready to give it a try? Yeah, here we go. Nice piece. <laughs> it's like peeling an orange. You wanna see how much of it you can get. OMG. What do I do when I get to a corner? Oh! Nice! First try, folks. All right, Shell's actually killing it at this. I'm gonna get down there and help her get all the old caulk off and then we'll go around and recalk it. Babe, 
not what we're working on. <laughs> We're getting these seams good and clean before we put the caulk on, otherwise it'll just peel back. It's just so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's loud. But we're getting it good and clean. We don't want it to peel back up after we put it down. And so we're making sure every last little speck of dirt and caulk and all that crap is out of there. Right, babe? Get out of there. Well, we started this wonderful project and then realized that we don't even have any caulk. So going to Home Depot, bringing the buddy with us because he loves that place. And then we'll finish. Are you excited to go to Home Depot? Yeah, Louie. I eat yabby, yabby, yabby. Louie just had a bath today, so I don't want him getting all dirty on the wet ground, so I'm carrying him. Yeah, it's raining. We're really excited for this to stop so we could actually go do fun stuff outside. <laughs> so that's why today we're tackling the house, staying indoors. So many options. I have no idea. Which one, babe? <laughs> this is out of my element. Yep, that one's purpley blue periwinkle. Silicone, that's what we want. Waterproof, we need that. Silicone it's a tub. for around the tub, that's what you want. And we're getting white to match our white. Let's get out of here. Shell's still rocking the band aids on her ankles. <laughs> Listen, I put fresh ones on every day after the sh <laughs> gym and showering. It's no joke, man. Shoes are dangerous. They are. That's why I'm wearing sandals every day for the rest of my life. If you don't know what we're talking about, Shell was at a photo shoot and walked around so much she rubbed her... Heels raw. Yeah, her heels raw. Just they were bleeding. bleeding. Still in recovery. <laughs> we got to get her back home, get her in bed, get those feet up. <laughs> In bed. <laughs> Maybe I'll make her some orange chicken. We still have some of that Costco stuff left. Daniel's eating it like 20 nights in a row now. It's my favorite. It's not her favorite. <laughs> Come on in here. Get a little closer. We got our caulk, white silicone caulk. There's a few tricks to making this easier to work with because it's super, super sticky. So I'm going to show them to you. Cut that little top off. Stick this thingy down in there. Ready to go. Prime the pump. We'll start with just this front portion so you guys can see how it goes. Shell, pay attention. Okay. Oh, there it goes. So the worst thing you can do is put too much on because it's kind of hard to get up, but you can always put more on. And then just get your finger wet and run it on without pushing too hard. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. And if it looks kind of crappy in places, just get your finger wet and run over it again. All right, babe, you ready to try? Yeah. Pull it along, then pull a little harder so you get a little more. Oh, beautiful. Too much? Nope, keep going. Ow, my finger's cramping. That's common. Oops, what do I do? Mine doesn't look as good as yours. We may need to get, put a little more caulk on and That's just run nervous. our finger again. Not bad.
Guys, I swear this is the last time I'm gonna be eating orange chicken in this house. Only because it's gone. It's all gone. We're done. It's done. You're not gonna see it again. That's not true. We're going to Costco to buy more. It's so good. We worked really hard. We deserve this great big meal Michelle made for us. I put on the finishing touches on the tub. She made us dinner. And so we're excited to now just sit down and eat. We hope you enjoyed seeing the caulking of the tub. It's um, nice to have a dude that knows how to do it all. Literally, there's nothing he can't do. When it comes to handiwork, there's pretty much nothing he can't do. If you guys want to see more videos of him doing handiwork, comment below. Stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to be having an epic day. We're not going to tell you what we're doing yet, but it's going to be awesome. We're super excited. I'm not going to work. Shell doesn't have any photo shoots, so we're going to be out doing something fun. Yeah, get excited because it's going to be rad. We love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. We feel it. We hope you do too. I know I say that a lot, but I mean it. Subscribe down below if you guys haven't already, and we will see you tomorrow.